Welcome back to the charismatic voice. I confess, I have heard this song before just a couple of times with an ex-boyfriend who used to play it when I got back from teaching music lessons, but I've never done a deep dive on Van Halen. In fact, I didn't know until just a little bit ago when I was reading about the band that Van Halen isn't the lead singer. So I figured, why not start with this one? It should be fun. Let's get to it. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> sweet, sweet Waldo. <laughs> now, Waldo, I hope you find some friends this year. Oh, Mom, <laughs> you know I'm not like other guys. I'm nervous and my socks are too loose. This is hilarious already. The, the sounds of the breathing and the extra sounds that mom, I think, is making. And then the squeaky as the hair is being smoothed out. Like, the, I just, I love the sound design of it from the very beginning. One more time. <sighs> this is so overdone. Also, the screaming in the background is hilarious. <laughs> Squeaky hair. <laughs> now, Waldo, I hope you find some friends this year. Oh, Mom, <sighs> you know I'm not like other guys. I'm oh nervous gosh. and my socks are too loose. My socks are too loose? <laughs> Sit down, Whoa. Waldo. That's, I thought, I didn't think that was a dude. Oh boy. Ooh, 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 I like the drums. I feel you, man. Okay, uh, drums are awesome. The energy and then the way the guitar came in there, also awesome, awesome, awesome. But the thing that's really gotten me so far was the school bus moment because I hated school buses growing up. They were like the worst. It just, uh, I feel like it breeds all kinds of meanness in children when you squish them together in a in a small location and, and then don't monitor them particularly well. Anyhow. Back one more time. That's so cool how they brought the drums in. Amazing, uh, amazing. Uh, <laughs> I, I really am paying attention to the way that they built up all of that energy and then pulled way back. Like It suddenly has so much less sound, so much less drive, and the anticipation of when that's gonna drop back in, it just exponentially grew for me the moment that they brought it all back. I, it's like they've got me on a string, right? Okay, back a little bit. Feels like an awesome video game right now. If you feel where this is gonna go, and you're like, it's gonna go there, it's gonna be awesome. And then in just a moment, 
right? So these are so much fun. Fascinating. Wait a second, man. What do you think the teacher's gonna look like this year? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I appreciate that they uh, stepped it up on the homework, you know, for, for this teacher. Uh, I guess there are ways of motivating students. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, I also, uh, David Lee Roth, I'm paying attention to this voice because I swear I thought it was Van Halen. Um, and apparently there's another Van Halen in the, in the band. I thought that there was like an Eddie Van Halen. I've heard this name over and over and the guitar stuff I've heard so far was pretty extraordinary, but I'm not a guitar pro. So I can't tell you exactly how extraordinary, just that it's extraordinary. When it comes to singing, I can tell you a lot more about that, but this is David Lee Roth. And I think I'm saying that last name correctly. Oh, wow, man. I think that's him too. Wait a second, man. Like, even his speaking voice has so much snarl in it. Nope. You could not wear that as a DJ. Just say. This vocal line is really, really great from the get-go. One of the things that's happening is he's really giving so much extra to his consonants to the point where he actually re-attacks a consonant in there. That's really cool. And then he, on fool, I think was the word, the way he flips up into his falsetto, it really gives you the idea that he's kind of going off the hook for this teacher here. Oh, yeah. t -t teacher. Also like the way he cuts off of uh, Fool there. Uh, Natsihi, I think, is where he actually does the jump up. One other thing that looks really awesome in this initial opening line is some syncopation. He's really bringing accents in on words and entering on unexpected beats, which makes it feel a little off kilter and maybe even more insistent. Right there. I like the way they double the voice before they split it into harmonies there. That's cool. It has a nice uh, build to the sound. Also, something about this just feels very ACDC to me, too. I'm curious if there was a lot of influence between the two bands. Right there, it's the doubling. And then the split. Very chromatic. Wow, that, that squeal almost has like a whistle tone on the top. Yes. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just staring at it thinking like, ah, I kind of want to do this dance. It looks ridiculous. I bet it would feel ridiculous. I bet it would feel fun. Um, this is amazing. Was this dance a thing? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to go back one more time because I was not listening intensely to the vocals because the dance was too, too much fun. <laughs> That's a really cool extra shake of the vibrato he does at the end right there. Like, uh, also like a machine vibe. Also on So, it's a great example of a diphthong where he's purposely going to the second part of that diphthong very, very quickly. So, oh, that vowel is made up of two vowels actually in one sound, oh. And when you're singing, you have to decide at what point you want to be on which vowel. He decides, so, and it sounds kind of goofy, actually, when you go straight to the second vowel. Ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, I think that the dress code restrictions have, uh, are, have become much more strict these days. And the sound design is really cool in headphones. I like the way we've got a lot of the Foley essentially kind of on the right side, a lot of music on the left side here. It sounds so crisp as well, all of those extra environmental Foley sounds. Such a cool riff. I brought my pencil. Yeah. Boys. just laughing so hard at this entire concept. The idea of making an entire song about being hot for a teacher as a uh, young men in school. And I've got this moment of like, oh my gosh, am I gonna deal with this when my son is like nine years old? What, when does that happen? When is that? Oh my goodness. Is this really what happens in school for young men? Because yeah, anyhow, ridiculous <laughs> and hilarious. I love that flip of falsetto. Just we're going back one more time. Listen to how well he is hooked into his sound. So when I talk about being hooked into a sound, I'm talking about this feeling of like a lower breath support connection to the phonation that's happening, right? Phonation happens right here in your vocal folds. They vibrate, they go wacka, 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 440 times if you're singing concert A. Uh, if you're really hooked in, that means that when you take a breath and you start that phonation, there's almost like a leaning on the support. There's a, a physical connection that's happening and it feels like, almost like a hand is like coming up through your breath support and, and helping those vocal folds vibrate. The way he ends up having his like little cries or whines on the sound, it really sounds like he's digging into that support. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't, I don't know how anybody really listens deeply to the vocal line the first time you see that dance. That is impossible. <laughs> In fact, I, you just, you watch this entire video. Like it's, I have to be making a concerted effort to be listening to that vocal line and to trying to separate it out from everything else and, and analyze it. It's just, it's so hilarious. Oh my gosh. Let's, let's watch the, the dance with the hilarious moves that I, I don't know if I would do all of these moves. Ooh, I know about this Little girl from Sorry. I love that chromatic part. <laughs> that, that little chromatic intro into the chorus, I think this is a chorus, that really sets it up extremely well. It feels like you're degenerating, essentially. <laughs> oh my. Having taken a little bit of a dive into guitar solos now, I have so much appreciation for what just happened. It, it was so cool how he's not picking pitches that I would necessarily expect, right? And that's, he's picking things that are really colorful within the harmony, and that's fascinating. And then the way he's carrying over phrases, it's, it's like he's taken some influence from C.V. Ray Vaughan or like from some really great blues guitarist and the way he's twisting this solo around the music. This is so cool. And already in just this little bit of time, there's been a lot of different articulations on the guitar as well. I'm gonna go back one more time. I like the way that He's also, there are times when he goes super blazing fast, but then there are times where often when he'll pick uh, something a little simpler, he'll be offsetting the rhythm so it stands out. Well, that's cool. And the tumble over, the flood over is also really cool. Awesome. Yeah! Oh man, I think the clock is slow. <laughs> I don't feel turdy. <laughs> 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 wow. Was the teacher locked up in there too? One of them it looked like? Maybe possibly? Oh my goodness. It must have it must have been the wardrobe choices. I love the anticipation they build with this riff. Ah!
I feel like there's so many extra inside uh, nods here about the band members that I don't fully, fully understand. But one thing I do know is apparently they started in Pasadena in California, which is actually uh, where I was uh, teaching when this first came up. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. I'm going to go back one more time. I really like the way all of them are leading into this ah vowel on bad. I, I think about how you would sing an ah vowel if you're singing opera and I would add a lot more ah to it as if it, if it were British, you'd kind of heighten it. So instead of bad, it'd be bad, right? And that kind of rounds the tone, makes it a little bit more mellow. But if you're Van Halen or uh, David Lee Roth, you don't want to round your tone. It's got to be like snarly, aggressive, a little gritty. So it's all up here in the face. So one should absolutely lean into the ah. Like I'm not even doing an ah enough. I would think you'd want the most ah of ah you could possibly get in a bad vowel. <laughs> Drummer, that's drummer brother. Mm, really good rhythm. What is that scream on top? I swear he's got access to whistle. I think that's David Lee Roth, though. <laughs> the dancing. Amazing. I don't think it can get more ridiculous than this. Maybe, though. Maybe it could. If somebody did a cover of the dance, I'm definitely going to go do that dance, you know, when I'm not in front of a camera at some point, just because it looks really fun to try out. I love it. Thank you, everyone, for joining me for this totally ridiculous and fun beginning of a deep dive. If you want to see some other ridiculous and just totally fun music, I'm going to make a playlist up over here and make you fall more in love with music every day.